the serotonin, and remember the serotonin is always called the serotonin hypothesis. And we all know how to play science, which means nobody's ever proved that it's true. And here's this lovely paper out of London. It was on the world news program from the BBC. On Science News, they have this article, no evidence that depression is caused by low serotonin levels, finds comprehensive review. After decades of study, there remains no clear evidence that serotonin levels or serotonin activity are responsible for depression, according to a major review of prior research led by UCL scientists. And this calls into question what antidepressants do. Most antidepressants are selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, which were originally said to work by correcting abnormally low serotonin levels. There is no other accepted pharmacological mechanism by which antidepressants affect the symptoms of depression. And many who have actually changed their way of eating have realized that their depression magically evaporated without any medication, just as a side note. The popularity of the chemical imbalance theory of depression has coincided with a huge increase in the use of antidepressants. Prescriptions for antidepressants have risen dramatically since the 1990s, with one in six adults in England and 2% of teenagers now being prescribed an antidepressant in a given year. That's insane. Many people take antidepressants because they have been led to believe their depression has a biochemical cause, but this new research suggests this belief is not grounded in evidence. And yes, usually it's circumstances, traumatic events that happen to people which can lead to overwhelm, freeze response and as a result depression. So adverse life events played a big role in depression. Low mood is a response to people's lives and cannot be boiled down to a simple chemical equation. There you go. Thousands of people suffer from side effects of antidepressants, including the severe withdrawal effects that can occur when people try to stop them, yet prescription rates continue to rise. We believe the situation has been driven partly by the false belief that depression is due to chemical imbalance. It is high time to inform the public that this belief is not grounded in science. The researchers caution that anyone considering withdrawing from antidepressants should seek the advice of a health professional given the risk of adverse effects following withdrawal. It's no joke. It basically undercuts the, the, whole, the whole fantasy of why SSRIs are supposed to work. And we're, uh, not, even the companies that sell it acknowledge that at least for 30% of people, it doesn't work at all. Uh, and for another maybe 30%, they can't stop using it because it does have the side effect of harming you. Yeah. And there's a few, none of them by the pharmaceutical companies that sell it, by the way, there's a few long range studies of like 20 years and you have match groups, people who were medicated for the condition, people who weren't. The people who were not medicated did better overall in their lives. So we're about to, um, we're about to kind of, um, 
push at one of the most profitable businesses on the planet that may be based on incorrect science and incorrect aware, incorrect assumptions. Pretty exciting times. So this is another study about the shocking lack of evidence on antidepressants for chronic pain. I was really angry when um, when I went to a doctor because of uh, migraines I had back then frequently and uh, he suggested an SSRI and I was like that's nuts do you know how many side effects these drugs have? So I absolutely refused and now I'm so glad that the evidence is coming out in a study. People with chronic pain are being given antidepressants with very little scientific proof. The medication helps. A major review has found. So there is only moderate evidence for only one drug and that's just for short-term pain relief. And there was a shocking lack of long-term data even though the pills are usually prescribed for many months. And the problem is when you want to come off of these drugs there are massive side effects. When coming off antidepressants, the medication should be slowly reduced over weeks to prevent withdrawal symptoms.